And very pleased to have with us on the program right now from the Media Research Center news analyst, Scott Whitlock. Scott, good evening to you, sir. Hey, Cam. How's it going? Thanks for having me. Oh, it's my pleasure. This is a, uh, I got to tell you, this is, this is pretty unbelievable. And I watched this clip earlier today from Good Morning America where uh, Robin Roberts uh, interviewed Colin Goddard, who is uh, the assistant director of legislative affairs for the Brady campaign. To call this a, a puff piece interview, Scott, uh, I think gives it too much credit. Uh, I mean, this was from the get go a a soft peddling of the uh, of a news story. I mean, Colin Goddard was introduced even before he came on. They're talking about what a great guy he is and uh, what a fantastic job he's doing. And and then during the interview, we actually heard Robin Roberts, the anchor of Good Morning America, let loose with the whopper that the Brady campaign is not anti-gun. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and this is, you know, when we do media bias, one of the things, one of the easiest kinds of media bias to find is when journalists are sort of almost kind of detached from reality, like when they would refer to Ted Kennedy as just senator, or, you know, a senator from Massachusetts, not a Democratic or liberal senator, uh, to call the Brady uh, handgun group anything other than anti-Second uh, Amendment or liberal is just kind of ridiculous. Now, uh, we should start with the, the caveat that uh, Colin was um, in the Virginia Tech massacre, and he survived, and that's obviously tragic, and, you know, we all feel for everyone involved in that, but he is now, as you said, the assistant director of legislative affairs for Brady, and so he is the organization. They they are a political organization, obviously, and they are anti-Second Amendment. So, yeah, she comes back from showing a clip from them and um, says, you're not anti-gun, which, as you said, is just <laughs> it's just so ridiculous on its face, and they never tried to portray him or portray the organization as liberal or anti-Second Amendment. They never used this word. No, a- absolutely not. And, and, you know, it's interesting, b- before Colin Goddard came out and, and was interviewed by uh, Robin Roberts, they, uh, th- th- she said, you're going to meet the extraordinary young man uh, who survived one of the deadliest school shootings in history. Now he's waging a courageous fight to help keep such violence from ever happening again. You're going to want to meet this young man. As I, was, as I was reading that, Scott, I couldn't help but think about a woman that we've had on this program before named Nicole Gozer. Now, Nikki lives in uh, Nashville, Tennessee, and uh, a little more than a year ago, her husband, Ben, was murdered right in front of her uh, by a, a stalker. And Nikki is a concealed carry holder, but, but she was required under Tennessee law to leave her lawfully owned firearm locked in her car. So she didn't have it on her when this guy came up and killed her husband at point blank range. Nikki has since uh, advocated for the passage of restaurant carry laws in Tennessee and in Ohio and in a couple of other states as well because she wants to see people be safe. She wants to help people avoid uh, what happened to her. And I can't imagine Robin Roberts ever calling Nicole Gozer uh, courageous. Uh, I I can't ever imagine uh, Robin Roberts uh, uh, talking about the courageous fight that Nicole Gozer is waging. You know, this is... uh, this isn't just slanted. Good morning, American. Robin Roberts has come down on the side of we're in favor of gun control. Right, exactly. They, they want to portray this as, as not controversial, as just kind of common sense things. And that's exactly what you're talking about is the sort of thing we look at where there are just certain types of, uh, the, you know, these people or organizations where they're just not interested. I, I mean, I, I think a comparison I would make is they seem to, they during the, um, the interview, they put undercover uh, footage of, this guy going to uh, gun shows and and you know this was sort of portrayed as you know how wonderful and wonderful expose. Well, uh, they're not interested uh, in someone going undercover to expose Planned Parenthood. They would never have someone like that on their show. And if you remember uh, James O'Keefe and Hannah Giles when they went undercover uh, to expose Acorn, yeah. there was a very skeptical and just outright hostile response from the media. So yeah, you're right. It's a complete double standard of some exposés we like, some we don't, some courageous, inspirational people, you know, we're feature, and some we're just going to ignore. All right. Now, Scott, I'll be honest with you. I, I don't watch Good Morning America, uh, so I don't know. Are they usually this bad? Is it usually this blatant? Uh, they're usually uh, they're usually pretty biased, yeah. One of the co-hosts of Good Morning America is George Stephanopoulos, um, who you might remember is a, uh, a former, you know, he worked for Bill Clinton, he worked for uh, Michael Dukakis. And, you know, he was basically a Democratic operative, and then he left the Clinton White House, wrote an autobiography, and told all his uh, sort of, you know, behind-the-scenes dirt about the Clinton White House, and then 
somehow he was just sort of accepted magically as as a journalist, <laughs> and you know, and now he's um, he's the co-host of Good Morning America. So he, he's yeah, the the show is certainly one of the more slanted morning shows. They're all pretty bad, but uh, when you have uh, George Stephanopoulos on and he's going to talk to his buddy, uh, you know, Carville, uh, James Carville. The conflict of interest, and something I've written about, because I write about Good Morning America a lot, is the, the conflict of interest there is just is just amazing. So yes, Good Morning America is usually uh, pretty bad. Sometimes they're not quite as, as glaringly bad as they were today. So Yeah, and I guess, you know, having seen this clip uh, of Robin Roberts, and here's the actual quote. She says, uh, we were talking in the commercial break and saying there are groups on both sides. There are groups that say, I have the right to bear arms. I don't need this. How do we coexist? Because you're not anti-gun. Uh, giving Colin Goddard the chance to say, no, no, I've shot guns many times before. I would I would also say that shooting guns doesn't necessarily make you pro-gun. Um, right. But, but right. was this one of the, I, I don't know, Scott, was, was this intentional? I mean, is this what, what Robin Roberts, you think, uh, really believed? Or was this, you know, sometimes anchors, when they're ad-libbing, they say things that in retrospect they probably kick themselves and say, oh, I shouldn't have said it. I didn't see her wince or anything after the, the, the words, you're not anti-gun, came out of her mouth. No, because I, I just think that it, it's, it's that sort of groupthink uh, of liberals in, gen, uh, in general and specifically liberals in the media where their ideas are, are not controversial, so that they just kind of portray them that way. And yet during the, the segment, she called him a good man, and impressive, important, um, you know, other people, other descriptions of him. And, and so it, it's just kind of non-controversial. And Good Morning America has a tendency to sort of do that uh, thing they they're very aggressive in, in, in promoting uh, global warming and, and the green uh, agenda and they never sort of portray that as controversial as you know similar same thing with the gun thing they never portray it as well what could be the other side in this yeah so it's, you know sadly it's not um, not too surprising from my standpoint well I can't wait for uh, Robin Roberts interview with Fidel Castro when she says you know you're not really anti-capitalist <laughs> you're just yeah. misunderstood yeah they well they they do they. The journalists do like um, um, Castro and uh, Cuba, too, so it wouldn't be surprising. Hey, Scott, thanks again for coming on the program tonight, sir. It's a real pleasure getting a chance to talk with you.